just like I had my heroes before me. I reached down to kids who were probably four or five or eight years old and watched me on television and they liked the way I conducted myself and they said, well, I want to be like him. Greg set the stage for Australians. He changed the game for us. He was the Arnold Palmer of Australia. Any time that I achieve anything that Greg Norman's done in his golfing career, then I've done well. Whether it's winning tournaments that he's won or getting to number one, it's, it's a great feeling. Motivated by the Hall of Famer, Adam Scott became the first Australian to reach the top of the world golf rankings last season since Norman in 1998. It's been a little bit of a resurgence for Aussie golf on uh, the PGA Tour this year. I think seeing one of us do well almost spurs the others on. Scott was one of six Aussie players with a victory on tour last season. That's the most for Australia since 2006. For four of those players, it was a return trip to the winner's circle. There it is. What a day, what a day, oh, what a day. Jason Day is the champion. Jason Day kicked it off at the beginning of the year with the match play, and I'm fortunate enough that we had a big run there. John Sendon is the Valspar champion of 2014. Jeff Ogilvy is a winner in Reno. It's been trending this way for a while, and the last, the last year or two has been really good for Australia. It's exciting for a small country that's so far away to come to such a big stage and do well. It's been nice. Two Aussies also rose up from down under to pick up their first victories on tour. Stephen Bowditch is the champion. It'll be Matt Jones who wins the Shell Houston Open. The rest of the young Aussies are like, have started really contending and playing well in big tournaments. Matt Jones had a great first half of the year winning in Houston, I think with an, it was an unbelievable finish in Houston. Maybe you leave That's it in. Oh, maybe you do! Are you kidding? How about that? There's been a good season for Australia. Hopefully that spurs young Australian golfers to pick up the game and keep that flag going down the future.